Erizal, Schus Yagen Alenu, Revisic Luria, Mays Mary Protect Us, taught us that the soul has five parts. And the soul's five parts are the first part is the aspect of Yechida. It's the aspect of all of existence as it exists, completely united in this moment, completely unified with all life at all times. The aspect of Yechida Sheba Nefesh, that point of Yechida in the five part soul, corresponds to Yom Kippur. Then the second part of the five part soul, the top two are transpersonal, the bottom three we usually inhabit. The second part of the soul is the aspect of Chaya, it's the aspect of consciousness. It's the aspect of breath, which is chiyas, life force. And then we descend into the bottom three, the personal soul, of which we inhabit. The Ari said that if we're lucky, out of the three parts of the bottom three, which is nefesh, nefesh, ruach, neshama, we're lucky if we inhabit our, our nefesh and our ruach. Barely anyone makes it to neshama. But... There are aspects. We come in, we go. Rats of a show of the angels. They taste, they touch, and they they dance. Toe in the bath retreat. The dancing between the two. So of these bottom three, we have nishama, mind, ruach, heart, nefesh, gut. Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, Chaya, Yechida. And the Ari taught that on Wednesday, Yom Revi, which is three days to Shabbos, which the week itself breathes its soul and renews itself. It starts over, it starts anew. Yom Ashri Shabbat Vayin Afash. The world is, the world is resold. <laughs> Not sold as in capitalism, but is reinvigorated with soul. Shabbat Vayinafash, the nefesh, the soul of the world, returns and restores and regenerates and rebreathes. So they are taught that on Wednesday night, we begin to receive the nefesh, the nefesh portion of the additional soul that we receive on Shabbos, the neshami yaseira, the second soul, the soul of wholeness, the soul of fixing, the soul of Olam Haba, the world to come, the world as it can be in its rectified state. So as we sit here Wednesday night, beginning to feel the, the nefesh, the lowest dimension of the second soul of Shabbos, as we move towards the week's completion, as we move towards remembering our wholeness.